What's going on everybody, this is Stridox here, bringing you a Rise of Civilizations video. Now in this video, I will be discussing and talking about the commander's talents and skills. Like what is the most important one? Which one should you focus on the most? Um, is legendary heroes better than epic uh, heroes? Things like that. And I hope I can answer some of the questions that y'all may have had for me. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Now guys, y'all can see I have uh, arguably one of the best commanders, Julius Caesar. This guy is extremely, extremely hard to get. But here is where the argument comes in. Is it better to use Julius Caesar or is it better to use someone like Scipio Africanus, right? Um, and I hear, I'm going, okay, look, I'm going to, I'm going to answer this for y'all. This is my biased, unbiased opinion. Um, if I had to give y'all a commander to use, um, obviously if y'all had the money, if y'all are big pay to play, obviously your main guy would be Julius Caesar. All right. There's no ifs, ands, questions, or about it. This dude's skills are un freaking believable. This dude, as a leader, max his skills out would just be unfair you would just be able to take out the whole freaking world this guy's a beast he he's amazing i mean look at his stuff indomitable army attack and defense bonus damage bonus uh damage reduced uh additional damage reduction then you have a uh, defense reduction this dude is a tank and on top of that it gives you amazing attack boost so guys if y'all had the money julius Caesar would be the way to go but I'm just gonna speak for a majority of the community that does not just have just crazy amounts of money and don't like to spend much. A guy like Scipio would be your best bet because um, not only this dude's skills are really freaking good, bro. He is extremely an extremely good leader. Okay, but uh, you can also is very affordable right his uh sculptures the epic sculptures they're so much easier to get man than than these uh legendary sculptures guys trying to get legendary sculptures is a pain in the butt trying to get julius caesar sculptures is even more of a pain in the butt okay so i'm speaking as a whole as legendary commanders um if you're not that big into pay to play um, I wouldn't recommend leveling up your legendary commanders all that much. I would focus on, you know, guys in your epic category, just because the sculptures are so much easier to get, guys, okay? And I'm speaking from experience. Guys, I have Julius, I have Zhao Zhao, and I mean, look at the medals, bro. You know, I only got three, I only got three uh, legendary sculptures. I mean, you look at my epics. I have 10 right here. On top of that, I've done, I just, I just loaded up Joan uh, of Arc. Just loaded her up to four. I mean, you can see how many sculptures that I actually get of Epic, right? So, uh, yeah, guys, so I would, I would highly recommend if you're not that big of a pay to play, go start using your Epic commanders, okay? Um, now, as far as, I guess this is just an all around, <coughs> excuse me, it's like an all around talking video. Um, again, if you have a little bit of money, you're Minamoto. Uh, you can spend, if you get the VIP 6, okay, let's just use for an example of VIP 6. Um, you can see all the way to VIP uh, 1, you get these uh, Minamoto medals, okay. VIP 2, you get more medals and things like that. VIP 3, you get more medals. Uh, so anyways, go all the way up to VIP 6, which is this one right here, I've already bought. You get 70 medals. VIP 7, you get 100 medals. Again, Minamoto is one of your best... Uh, pay to play commanders for a low lower budget uh player um i'm like i'm like an average player i guess you could say i spend decently on this game right um not tremendously a lot right i spent i spent like i don't i don't know exactly how much i spent but it's not like a crazy crazy amount but you can see my minamoto first skill is maxed out second skill almost maxed out i just need i need 40 more medals um uh, i mean and honestly i can spend um five dollars right now five dollars right now and I actually no I still wouldn't be able to get them I would need 20 more medals so I would need to get the VIP 7 probably but uh then I then his skill would be maxed out right here then I'll be able to level him up to this one bonus damage to barbarians and start leveling that up uh but Minamoto is a great uh great commander I think I, I would use him more as a secondary uh just because his skills are amazing right here unless unless you use him as a main main commander and you set his talents to cav only and send a cav blast okay what i mean by cav blast is his talents are set only for calves 
And uh, you send when you send an attack, you use him as your leader, and then use a secondary as like a healer or another secondary cab, and send all cabs into an attack. The cab damage would be ridiculous. It would be stupid. Like, it would be stupid. So Minamoto is actually a really good commander, uh, especially for cabs and for if you're lower budget uh, players. Uh, let's talk about secondary commanders. Um, secondary commanders, I would you would use like a, a healer, for example, Joe the Ark, or someone who gives amazing attack boosts. Like Joe the Ark is one of the best secondary commanders in my in my opinion. This girl is a freak, bro. Is a freak. I mean, look at this: infantry, health, cap defense, archer attack, rage restored. Now, then you have your gathering. Obviously, her talents. She would not be a leader. Now, remember, your leader. Uh, if, if you don't have, if she's not your leader, or what am I even trying to say right now? My mind's just going freaking crazy. I'm talking too fast. She would never be a leader, okay? Your leader has to have something to do with, like, attacks. Okay, have, like, cab, archer, infantry attack, or your overall, like, leader side of attacks over here. Um, you don't want her as your leader. You want her as a secondary. Uh, whatever she, like, your secondary commanders, your talents don't even matter. It's only your skills. And if you're, if you're using a secondary commander, your talents, like, literally, they're irrelevant. They don't go, go into play in the battlefield. Only the skill sets do. So, I use her for gathering. Her talents are going to be set for gathering. She's always going to be a secondary. Um, so, her skills are what's going to matter in the battle. And her skills are absolutely amazing. She's, so, she's an amazing secondary, as well as Tomo Gozen. Uh, she has an attack bonus to all your, uh, all your, your, your troops. She also has an archer attack, and she also has rage and skill damage bonuses, and she has damage reduction. This girl right here is an amazing, amazing secondary uh, uh, commander. Now, as far as like other other uh, commanders go, guys, I mean, you, you just have to, you have, to you have to play with it. It just depends on what troops you're gonna send, uh, if you're attacking barbarian force or not. You have to look at um, their their skill set. For example, you can see healing and direct damage factor right uh great for healing so but then you look at the next one uh bonus to barbarians okay so not only he does healing so he also does barbarians so obviously this guy would be amazing for killing barbarians he heals and he does more damage to barbarians so this guy would be like a barbarian secondary type of a guy right um uh, yeah so like julius caesar this dude's a freak but if you can afford him Go for it. Max this dude out and level this guy up like like crazy, right? Uh, like Zao's out. He's a cab type, so he would be mainly like a secondary. But you, obviously, you can also use this guy as your main leader as well. You just got to use your talents correctly. Uh, like go, I would say mainly go for like the the leader side of things, like troop attack over here, like this side of the tree over here. Definitely uh, use that for him. Or you can use him as a cab secondary. Uh, it's like as, as a secondary uh, commander as well, just because he has a skill set of calves. For something like a cav attack, you can use like uh, Minamoto as your main and then him as your second and just do all cav attack. It's all calves, right? So again, it just depends on which way you go with your commanders. Like, if you're, it's just, it's, it's hard to explain it, but like the way that I'm explaining things is I have like this ideal image in my head of how you make your commanders. So the, how I'm speaking it to you guys is how I have it in my head of how I made my commanders, right? So like Minamoto, for example, a cav, uh, have him just set for all calves, and then Zao Zao as your secondary, all calves, all cav attack. Or Minamoto as your main guy, and then Joan of Arc as your secondary to heal and give attack bonuses, things like that. Or Scipio as your main person because he's your leader and he gives bonuses to all your troops on top of like uh, Tomo as your secondary because she... Uh, gives attack bonuses, it does archers and uh, skill damage. Like all this, it, it's just gotta play right here. But I hope this all makes sense, guys. I know I was talking really fast. I mean, then you got Cleopatra over here who uh, has some healing. She would be a, another secondary commander as well. Um, yeah, guys, I, I mean, I don't know, bro. I mean, this game, I mean, you, there's so many different routes you can take. You know what I mean? So many different routes you can take. But um, if I would just have to give y'all an overall summary, Scipio would be your main guy for your low spenders as your main leader. And then as your secondary commander, Joan of Arc. Alright, let's just keep it simple. Joan of Arc or Tomo Gozen as your secondary. So Scipio or these two. Literally. <laughs> that's really that's, that's, that's it. That's basically what if you're a low budget player, that's where, where you need to go. Obviously, if you like to spend money, Julius Caesar, you know, just tears everyone up. Or Zao Zao. But um, 
All right, guys. Bro, I think that's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all understood. I hope I wasn't too confusing. It's hard to me, for me to explain exactly what I'm thinking, but um, I try to lay it out there as best way as possible. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. If y'all enjoyed it, drop a like. If it helped, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I haven't done that already, man. We're almost at 20,000 subs. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is Stratax here. Hashtag PAP Stratax for life. Peace.